Hey traders, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all having a nice day. So as always, let's start our analysis with natural gas. I'm going to go through gold and crude oil as well. So let's start with this popular commodity in natural gas first. So what do we have here after a big fall from this zone of our minor zone this is not a major zone but it did react it so what to expect now let me show you what i've said in my yesterday's video so that we can connect it from there we can expect a push up to 50 ema or this zone as this zone has now turned into resistance which was previously a support before we can see another push down so okay great so market has pushed down and as expected yesterday it did give us a push back up to 50 ema not a 50 percent retracement yet but we did have a retest of 50 ema and from there market pushed back down it gave us some good push down but we did not have any entry sell entry reason here to take sell trade but it did push down at as expected i won't enter after, directly after a retest i want to look for another good confirmation we did not have that so we had a push down after the retest and then we have this big impulsive move if you remember my previous videos and i've said that every time we have the big impulsive move every time 20 ema pushes the market up and something happened here as well we have this big impulsive move market pushes back up above 20 ema and buyers are in control as of now but that doesn't mean we are still bullish so let me tell you why here we can see we had a previous low we had a breach of this previous low market has pushed down broken below the previous low and at this point i will avoid entering buy trades even though market is pushing up that could be a retest and if you remember my yesterday's video from this impulsive move market is pushing up and this this is our 50 percent retracement that could act as a resistance again so i'll be cautious here to enter my sell trades we can still get a bearish candle from here that could be just a retest as we have broken below the previous low that is why i'm telling you guys to be cautious so at this point if you're looking to buy natural gas the good point would be after a break of this green zone which is 9.001 is exact it's exactly the nine so i will only look for buying reason once we have a good bear break and close with a two bullish candle closed above each other once we have this move then i will expect the market to give us a retest of this zone for another bullish entry and i would look for a break and close above this previous high and i'm still expecting a market to hit this 11 dollar resistance but with a good entry reason as you can see the market is in an uptrend on a daily time frame but on the four hour time frame you can get some push down if we have a bearish candle here we are now in between in the zone where we have a decision making between buyers and seller and that is why stay cautious at this point so the conclusion is yes the market is in an uptrend on a higher time frame but we are we have no entry reason if you are looking for buy yes again two candle close above with the retest and then i will let you know as always to take your long trades once we have a good entry reason and if you are looking for sell trades i will look for a bullish candle then a big engulfing bearish candle if we have that condition then i will take it as a sell signal to take my short trades as a one atr target so be cautious at this zone i won't enter as of yet i have no reason to enter i have just given you the conditions and what to look for to take your buy and sell trades so right here on Awanda, same condition on Awanda. At this point, I won't be buying until we have a complete break and close above with the two candle close above each other. If we have a bearish engulfing candle here, then we can expect a push down. As you can see, this could be a 50% retracement. If you look here, this is the 50% retracement, which is 8.978. From here, we can expect a bearish pressure. If not, if you have a good break and close above then i will look for a retest with a buying reason to take long trades yes we are in an uptrend on a daily time frame every time the market pushes down with the impulsive move hit 20 ema push up as here you can see every time the market hit 50 20 ema it pushes up again and again so at this point be cautious wait for market to break above this green zone to carry on with your long trades with a good entry reason which i will let you know once we have an entry reason and the next zone above is 10.40 which i'm expecting market to hit once we are above these zones
Okay, let's check gold. So as per my yesterday's video, I've said that market is market was here and I was expecting a push down retest of this zone which we caught. And now we can see a bullish pressure with this pin bar candle and with this 3A2 candle right here. Let's check if it is a 3A2 candle or not. Yes, it is a valid 3A2 candle. As you can see, the body is above 3A2 retracement. I'm sure you have seen my video how to identify a valid candlestick if you haven't seen the video the, I, i'll put the link up there so this is a 382 candle and this is a 25 percent candle right here so looking at that market is still in a bullish pressure i would wait for market to close above this 20 and 50 ema and look for a bullish entry reason for me the way i enter in bars on forex market i've not tested gold but the way i enter forex market is always 10 pips above right here and then use one ATR for my target and add few pips depending on the volatility of the market. So this is how I enter in the Forex and once your order hit, it will execute and this is will be, that will be your take profit. Not in this case, but I'm just giving you an example how I take entries using pin bars. So overall is bullish, not selling at this point. Okay, right here on crude oil, what do we have? I still got this retracement here. Let me show you what I've said in my yesterday's video so that we can connect it from there right here so now expect a pullback to this buffer zone which is 122.928 that goes down to 122.406 so this this is the zone you want to look for a buy entry okay perfect so now we have this candle now let me show you if this is a 3 2 candle or not right here so here you can see this is a 3A2 candle the body is above the 3A2 retracement shows the bullish pressure and as expected yesterday let's pull up our Fibonacci tool we do have this 3A2 candle in our buffer zone this is our buffer zone as mentioned yesterday and we got this bullish pressure so looking at that we already got a breather from a crude oil with this bullish candle right here and i'm still expecting market to hit the first point will be 124.81 and the second target i would see is 125.24 so these are the two targets i'm looking at at this point once it hit the previous high it will stall here you can also exit your position here if you're in a buy trade which is 124.32 so just to be on a safe side at the tp1 that will be your tp2 that will be to take profit three so that's all for crude oil and that's all for all the commodity markets guys for today if you have any questions buzz me on instagram i'll get back to you asap hope you trade green rest of the week i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care